Hey everybody, it's Matt again for Gone in Gears. I hope everybody had a good week. And uh, this is gonna be episode 179, and I wanna talk about rejection today. All right, whenever we're sharing God's word with people, and you're gonna have some people that receive it, you're gonna have some people that reject it. That's just the way it is. Um, it's important to remember that they're not rejecting us, you know, as individuals, they're rejecting God and his work. And uh, it's, that's no surprise either because you know, if they rejected Jesus 2,000 years ago, well then people, they're gonna reject us also. So I'm gonna read in Mark chapter six, in verses one and three right now. And he went out from hence and came into his own country and his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue and many hearing him were astonished saying, from whence hast thou this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him? Even such mighty works are wrought by his hands. And then verse three, it says, is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and Judah and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. So Jesus, his reputation was beginning to grow. Um, you would think that they would have welcomed him in his own town, his own country. Instead, they were offended at him. You know, they knew his family. Um, they knew his brothers and sisters. You know, the townspeople were focused. They were on, on Jesus' humanity. <clears throat> they were focused on that, not him being who he was, King of Kings. So they failed to recognize, you know, the supernatural works of his words and what he was doing there, the miracles. So I'm gonna read uh, Mark 6, 4 right now. But Jesus said unto them, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house, okay? Just like the Old Testament prophets, you know, Jesus, he received no honor either, all right? And then verses five and six. And he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands on a few sick folk and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. And he went round about the villages teaching. Okay. You know, the, the people, they limited God through Jesus, okay. Um, the absence of faith, it caused God to withhold the supernatural work. And that's what it was. These people didn't have any faith at all. You know, Jesus the Messiah, he was right there in their midst, and they missed his work in their lives because of unbelief. <clears throat> so if people reject, you know, what you're telling them about Jesus, um, don't take it personally, all right? They're not rejecting you, they're rejecting Jesus Christ. And <clears throat> one day, um, whenever eternity shows up at their door, um, they're going to realize the price and the cost of what that rejection cost them. All right, so just kind of an easy lesson today, but I just wanted to, I wanted to, I felt like I wanted to share this because we all, if we're sharing God's word, we're, we're all going to have rejection. And it's important not to, not to give up and to keep focused on what Jesus wants us to do because people will reject. And that's just, that's just the way it is. So just keep focused. And I'm going to have a word of prayer. Lord, we're thankful uh, for this day and your blessings, Lord, again. And, and everything you do for us, Lord, our, our, our time, the health, everything that you bless us with, we're thankful, Lord. And, Lord, it's important that we remember that you know, rejection comes to all of us, Lord. You know best uh, what it's like to be rejected. But, Lord, for us down here right now, you know, we get rejected, Lord. We don't want to take it personally. We want to keep going and keep serving you, Lord, faithfully. And we, Lord, we want to live right too, so people can see what's different about us. We want to show the world that we're different, and it's just you know better than the, the status quo. You know, we don't want to just be normal. We want to be above average, Lord, because we're we're saying and doing all these things in Your name, and Lord, we're, You are well above average, without a doubt. So we're just thankful. Be with us, Lord, the rest of the day. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. So last week we were talking about welding in here, and. I did get the, the other trunk panel in, which I showed you last week. I got that all ground up and then in primer. And so I am actually going to be 
uh, in a few minutes after I we're done with this video here, gonna start getting my wheel well in position and uh, I'll have a, quite a few hours to work on that because it's early yet to, uh, so I might even have it in place later this evening and have it ready for next week. We'll see what happens. But I do have time to work on it, so that's good. It's a good thing. So um, I just wanna thank Stace for doing the videos. And I wanna thank all the viewers, the subscribers, the people that watch faithfully. You know, there's um, maybe uh, 10 or 15 people that I know that are very faithful and watching God and Gears. And so to those people, you know who you are. I, and like I said, I know who you are, but then the rest of the, the rest of you out there, I don't know who watches faithfully, but just, you know, keep focus on Jesus and God can do many, many things through you. And so just stay encouraged, be focused. All right. And then we'll see you all next week.